According to the World Health Organization, glaucoma is the second most common eye disease to cause blindness. The primary symptom of this disease is elevated intraocular pressure, or IOP, which refers to the pressure in your eye. Now, what happens is the elevated pressure causes damage to your optic nerve, and this results in vision loss. The damage caused by progressive glaucoma is irreversible, and this puts a lot of emphasis on monitoring and treating the symptoms as soon as possible. Now, there are two big problems with glaucoma. The first is the drug, the treatment of the disease itself. So, one option is that patients can undergo an invasive surgery. Now, this surgery is not very good as it has very many side effects like infection and cataracts, and so most patients don't opt for this. Instead, they use medicated eye drops. But eye drops have their own problems. Less than 5% of the active agent in an eye drop actually reaches your eye, and so the dose is not very effective. The development of contact lenses that can release a drug are promising to improve the effective treatment for glaucoma, and this is what our group has done. But we've taken this treatment one step further by incorporating a sensor into our contact lens for real-time monitoring of IOP. Now, we'll first talk about the sensing. So, intraocular pressure is typically measured um, at an opt optometrist's office using a method called tonometry. It's very imprecise. It usually requires um, that they put a probe on your eye and it takes a single value measurement of your pressure that only gives a single value that's not characteristic of your IOP trends throughout the day. You can do extended IOP measurements, but these require a hospital visit or um, being connected to an uncomfortable sensor and it's not ideal. So we've developed our sensor to be a variable gap capacitor. The way, the way it works is that the contact lens has two layers. So the top layer is a rigid reference, and the bottom layer is a flexible layer that conforms to the shape of the cornea. Each layer contains a thin electrode that together form the capacitor. So when the pressure increases in your eye, this will change the shape of your cornea. And when the cornea, uh, the change of curvature of the cornea will affect the separation distance between the two contact lenses, and this has a direct effect on the capacitance. So what we did is we measured the capacitance against the pressure on an apparatus that we made ourselves to model a human eye. And we found that we had a very good linear relationship of the capacitance to the pressure. So we get an accurate representation of a patient's IOP for a given capacitance. We also found that our sensor had a very high sensitivity. And this is very good because we want our sensor to be as precise as possible. The second aspect of our sensor is the drug delivery. And we do this um, using molecularly imprinted contact lenses. Now, hydrogels are a common material that are used for contact lens production today. And this is convenient because e they can be easily modified to contain a drug and release it. And this is what we did. So our hydrogels contain a drug called Timolol. And the way it works is that a functional monomer is, undergoes a self-assembly with this drug, Timolol. And then this undergoes polymerization with a bulk monomer to form the hydrogel. We then cross-link the polymer uh, under UV light with a plasticizer, um, which is just water, which forms a flexible contact lens layer. We did, the same, we did this for both layers, except that the top layer didn't have the plasticizer and it didn't have the drug because it's not needed. Now what's great about this contact lens is that the drug delivery can be tailored. So we found that we could um, tailor the diffusion time based on the nature of the polymeric network. So by making it more cross-linked, it has longer diffusion. And we can also tailor the drug dose that's administered to the patient. By increasing the concentration in which the contact lens sits in to load the drug, you can increase the dose that's delivered to the patient. So the big picture of all of this is to create um, an IOP or a glaucoma treatment and monitoring cycle where a patient will go to an optometrist's office and they'll wear a pressure, the contact lens with the pressure sensor and drug release for a 24-hour period. Using wireless technology like an RF chip that's integrated into the sensor, this data will be transmitted to a device available to the optometrist. The optometrist can then look at the IOP trends and compare it to the drug release and then adjust the prescription for the patient as needed. So the patient on a daily basis will receive contact lenses that are just a single layer containing the drug releasing lens. And this drug releasing lens would be worn on a daily basis. However, every month or so or on a periodic basis determined by the optometrist, they'll go and wear the pressure sensor for a period of time and then you get this cycle of monitoring and adjustment and then treatment. So what we've done is we've created a technology that will revolutionize glaucoma treatment by creating more effective and personalized treatment for patients.